illegal for Mike Rooley to hand out campaign signs from his grocery stores. His opponent, John Bocheri, and the chairman of the Democratic Party say yes and have filed a complaint with the Ohio Election Commission. But Rooley and the Republican Party chairman claim it is not illegal that the law does not apply to handing out yard signs, with Rooley calling the complaint frivolous. The race for the state senator in the 33rd district is new at 11. Mahoning County Democratic Party Chairman Dave Beatrice today sent this cell phone video to all the news media. It shows someone in what Mike Rooley says looks like one of his grocery stores. Hi, I was wondering, do you guys carry uh, the Mike Rooley signs here? Uh, we usually do, but I'm out of them right now. Yeah. Also sent were Facebook posts from the Mike Rooley for State Senate campaign responding to a request for a sign. The response from the Rooley campaign stating that they can be picked up at the front office of both Rooley brothers. Beatrice cited a state law that a corporation's money or property cannot be used to aid a candidate for public office. But I just want to point out to people that Mike Rooley won't follow the rules. If he's not going to follow the rules, you can't be a lawmaker. But if they're going to make this over about who's passing out yard signs, I think that's a stretch. Mike Rooley issued a statement saying, I guess a career politician would care about yard signs. I'm more concerned about creating jobs, fixing our schools, and fighting the drug epidemic. I look forward to this complaint being exposed for what it is, a campaign stunt designed to shift attention away from the message I'm delivering. I just think that this district would be shocked and, and disappointed to have uh, uh, someone who doesn't play by the rules and follow the rules. I think Dave Beatrice and John Boucheri are becoming aware of some polling that suggests that John Bashari is going to lose this election. And you know what? They can't stand that. I also talked today with Phil Richter, executive director of the Ohio Election Commission. He says it's unlikely a hearing on the complaint will be held before the election. He says the commission cannot remove someone from the ballot. The worst the commission can do is refer the case to a prosecutor for charges to be filed. They can also level a fine, in this case, anywhere from $500 to $1,000. We have the complete statements from Mike Rooley and Dave Beatrice at WKBN.com.